Hey guys, Kevin here with your KevCam tip of the day today. So today I want to cover with you guys is um, undercutting using 3D eye machining. So you can see in our first operation right here is we basically machined off the entire outside and now we need to flip that part over to get rid of this little ledge over here. Um, so let's go ahead and hop into the operation real quick and we'll do a 3D eye machining here. And we will grab our tool. And we'll save and calculate. So now you'll see our toolpath has been calculated here. And what's happening is um, the toolpath is actually going down to the bottom of the part because it still thinks there's stock there. Well, with 3D eye machining, is it, what it's happening is it's looking at the stock that's left over from a straight down in Z value. Um, so it's not going to see or recognize anything that was undercut from the previous operation. So to kind of accommodate that is what we can do um, is switch up our geometry. So what we'll do is just do a working area and we'll do a define. <clears throat> we'll chain our stock, chain our part, mark that stock is open, hit the green check mark, hit OK, and we'll go to our levels and tell it to machine down to just that top face right there. All right, so now you'll see that it went right to that top face and we're not wasting that end mill going all the way down to the bottom, recutting this, or especially if we have a vise on there. So that's kind of one way to go about um, getting that in there. Now, if we want to keep that tool path just a little bit more internal, um, I can go to my working area and just do internal. So we're not coming over onto the, the face of the material right here. So then once we have this done, um, we can just do save and copy here. And once we have that copy open, we can just go back to our working area and shut that off. Hit OK. Save and calculate. And now you'll see with that um, operation, it is going right inside that target geometry right there. So just kind of want to show you guys that for the tip of the day. Um, like I said, uh, unfortunately, you, get, you do have to uh, split it up in two operations, but that's the best way of getting around um, since uh, when we look at the stock, it's straight down from the Z. So thanks, guys. Uh, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow with your tip of the day. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.